Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just wanted to show you a little quick tutorial about our Stampin' Up! punches. I love the punches. I find them to be so handy and quick and simple. I have them right to the left of my stamping desk so I can just grab one, punch, put it back, and continue on my way on my project. So I just wanted to let you know that the easiest way to do this is to stamp first and then to punch because it's so much easier to line it up and get it correct whenever you stamp first and then you punch. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of the punches. This is the word window punch and I'm just going to punch out some Whisper White card stock. So I have this little bitty window here and I have uh, one of my favorite greeting stamp sets, Teeny Tiny Wishes, so I have um, it's a woodblock stamp set. I have the happy birthday here. And now I'm just going to use this greeting to stamp onto this little one here. And I'm going to show you. It can be kind of difficult. Of course, woodblock stamps are a little difficult. And you can see that it's not bad, but it's crooked. It, go, it you know, kind of leans forward a little bit. Uh, and that's just kind of what happens whenever um, you stamp and you're trying to stamp on a little bitty thing. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to stamp first. Perfect greeting. It actually kind of looks uh, lined up nice and flat, uh, so I could have done better, maybe if I stamp or punched first. But now I'm just going to take my punch, flip it over, line it up, and punch. And look how perfect that one is compared to this one here. See how it's nice and lined up? And then this one's a little crooked. Love it. So simple, just stamp first and then punch. And that is the word window punch, which is great for layering on cards and adding in maybe um, on top of a pattern piece that you knew that the stamped image wouldn't pop unless you put it on like some Whisper White or another color. Now I'm going to show you uh, the butterfly. This is one of the small butterflies from the Papillon Potpourri stamp set here. So I just have one of the little ones and again I'm just going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp and then now I have the bitty butterfly punch and I'm just going to slide it in, line it up, and punch. And look how I have that beautiful little butterfly. But if I punched first, it is so little. And this is a clear mount stamp set. But yet the butterfly is a lot smaller than that image um, of the rubber is. So it would be so hard. I'm going to try my best. Maybe right there. Well, I can see that I didn't do too well because I have a little, what looks like a little bird image up there. So you can see it didn't come out as well. So it's always, again, it's always easier to stamp first and then punch. Now I'm going to use another one of my favorites. This is the Sprinkles of Life stamp set. Love, 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 love this one. It's the Ronald McDonald House stamp set. I can't put it down. It's in the new 2015-2016 catalog. And it coordinates with the Tree Builder Punch here. So I'm just going to take this. This is actually the flowers that go in the, the bushel basket. And I stamped those, and again, I'm, you unlock it. So in case you were wondering why sometimes if you try putting it in and it doesn't work, it unlocks here and then pops open. Otherwise, it lays nice and flat, like a bookcase. You can stack them all. So now I'm just going to slide that in up top here, line it up, and punch. Super simple, so much easier to do and to get those perfectly lined up images every single time. Just a simple little tutorial that I thought I would share with you as I know um, you probably have some frustrations sometimes whenever you try to stamp it on an already punched image. So just try stamping first and then turning up that, turning that punch over and then you can see exactly where you're punching out. And it also works even if you're punching something um, out that is just like a circle or something like that and it doesn't matter that it's going to be punched on or not. It's always easier to turn it upside down to help save paper. Like you can always flip this, like if I just slid this in, I'm not sure exactly where the image is. And so if I punched, it could be, see, falling off the edge or something like that. Whereas if you turn it upside down, you can see that you have that full coverage, your entire image is covered in cardstock, 
and now you can punch. So much easier to just flip it over and then you can see exactly where you're punching every single time. Be sure to check out more ideas and samples using any of these stamp sets, the Sprinkles of Life. I have tons of goodies. I'll leave a link specifically for those down below and then some of the butterfly ones as well. But be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com for lots of great ideas and tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.